G'day. Uh, well, today we're going to have a look at uh, Viacom Pro uh, keywords. So it's uh, an area that causes a fair bit of concern. Um, firstly, uh, how you add additional keywords into your database, uh, like aliases and things like that. Or if you get an update, how you uh, check to see if you're missing keywords in your database and then how you add those words in. It's a pretty simple process. Uh, it's pretty well expressed explained in the manual, but it's good to have a look at it. It certainly makes it easy to understand what you're doing. So uh, we'll start off with a section of the desktop and we'll um, start up Vacom. Uh, I've got debugging on, hence all the uh, black items here. So new, new DCS modules to import. That's a good thing to know. And it's just initializing now. And once it's initialized, we get ready for commands, plug-in, initialized. Right, so the first thing we want to do is open the config menu for Vacom Pro. So it's Control-Alt-C uh, by default. And we get the config menu, which I haven't seen it do that before, but that's interesting. Uh, I'll just close that down. We'll try it again. Configuration. Configuration. That's better. Um, I've also mapped a word to it, just if I want to open it while I'm in VR. Um, right, so we have it open. We've got the tabs across the top. The one we're looking at today is in the editor tab. And you can see that number there. That's our keyword count. Um, not in the profile, but in the editor. So that's how many words we have in here. Um, all these action words are F10 imported words that have automatically imported um, as per my preferences. But we'll have a look at uh, what we've got. So if we go into ball, you can see um, as a command phrase, it's got 11 aliases, so you can cycle through them. And you can say ball, you could say Hawkeye ball, Hornet ball, Intruder ball, or whatever. So there's an alias in there for lots of different words. Um, before we get going, I just want to test to make sure that we don't have any to add. So it says we've got 10, 20, so let's see what we've got in the profile. Hit test. Let the test run. It's obviously a lot of words. It takes a bit of a time to look through. You'll get not responding sometimes with a big uh, database of words, but that's okay. And up here, we should get profile, Vacom Pro for DCS, world matches database. No steps required. Okay, so we've got nothing to add um, from updates because I'll keep mine up to date. Um, if you haven't played around with this, try pressing this and you might have a hell of a lot of words to update into the database and you're probably wondering why your super carrier uh, phrases aren't working. It's because they're not in your profile. So anyway, let's um, add a couple of words. Uh, so if we go in here and we're in the standard words here, we've got AWACS, uh, one, al one alias, um, find another one that's uh, chief three aliases we can use chief, crew or sarge I want to add another one, I want to call it uh, ground crew Sometimes two words is better than one for recognising, especially if you've got a, a weird accent like Australian, and uh, it sometimes doesn't recognise some of your words. So I want to add one. So let's add a new one. Add new. So I've got Sarge one there now, and let's change that to ground. Crew. There we go. Okay, so we're at ground crew. I hit apply 
and it says success building master keywords table. Okay, change Sarge one to ground crew. Okay, so the best way to do that is to pop that down and have a look if you see if you've got ground crew in here. Ground crew. So I click that, it's got four aliases I can cycle through. Chief, crew, ground crew, Sarge. All right, you'll see the finish button lit up here. So what we need to do is hit finish and we get this. So that's telling us the keywords database is updated. Um, basically it's telling us um, that it's copied the new keyword database to the clipboard and we have to replace it in the profile. So I'm happy to hit OK because I know what we're going to do. And another thing to note is we now have 10, 21 words in here. Now if I test this again, it'll run a test on the database and it'll tell us we're missing a word. There we are. Alias absent from profile, ground crew for ground crew. Okay. So we need to add it. The easiest way, one missing alias in DC in Viacom, Viacom Pro. Okay. So let's hit finish again. That's popped up. Okay. And now we have to hit up here to the profile button. Profile pops up. I'll just open that profile window right up so you can see it. There we go. And you can see in the keywords collections, highlight it. So what we want to do is that keyword collection, which is all the keywords, double click on it. And you have now opened up this command dial. I'll just get rid of that so you can see it a bit better. All right. So we're editing a command. Highlighted, I'm going to hit delete to get rid of all the keywords. And while the cursor is still in that window, I'm going to hit Control V to paste what's in the clipboard, and I've pasted them back in again. It's as simple as that, and hit OK. And I'll bring the profile up again. And now that we've hit OK, they're back in here again. We hit Apply. Done. And we're finished. So we've got a new keywords database in our profile. If we want to check that, we can just bring up the configuration window again and test it. Not responding while it has a big think. It's pretty normal with a keyword database this size. Profile, Vacon Pro for DCS matches database, no steps, so do. There we go. So we've updated our keywords database in the profile. We added an alias. Uh, hopefully that helps you. Thanks for listening.